What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's well, good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 Monty video, and guys today, we got another rant video. We're going to talk about a lot of things man, a lot of things in this video. And uh, yeah, number one thing, we're gonna go over in a second. Make sure to drop 20,000 MT in the comments, like the video, so if you're new, let's give this video to 50 likes, man. Let's see if 2K can see this video, man. I really hope they do see it. We're gonna go over a ton of things broken in the game, what should be fixed and whatnot. And yeah, we're gonna start off with the ranting of the All-Star break coming up. So, if you guys don't know, it really looks like 2K has given up on content for the last two weeks. Okay, yeah, they dropped two things this whole week. They dropped... A total of about 20 cards in the game over the last two weeks. So, 20 cards over the last two weeks. That means they dropped about a card a card or two every day in the game. But they only released it in four days out of the week. So, let's talk about some things. Let's get into it. Let's go. So, I just want to talk about one thing. As you guys know, man, they did drop the Prime Packs or whatever. And then they re-dropped these packs. So, now, first off... They dropped these packs right here, which got me so pissed because, first of all, uh, people, man, I, I just, man. Okay, so they re-released content to make more money, so congrats to them. I guess they did make more money. Um, Second, bro, they are stalling so hard for All-Star Break, which means they're going to drop really fire content. I'm going to tell you why they're stalling. So if you guys don't know, over the past month... Uh, honestly, late January was pretty solid. Uh, mid January, late solid, pretty solid with content, token market updates, and whatnot. So now, let's talk about some stuff right now. So, we got no token market update for about a month now, which is like today. I think they would have dropped it yesterday on Friday. But yeah, now they have not released any token market updates. They have not released a sick new set. They haven't released anything besides the Prime and the Frostbite. All right, that's pretty decent content, I guess. They're going to make a ton of money off it, so it doesn't really matter. But now, they haven't fixed anything inside the game. The gameplay is still trash. It's inconsistent. Everything is off. Um, My team unlimited, bro. I'm sorry, but if you go 12-0, and 0, you shouldn't... Okay, yeah, you get a pink diamond. But, bro, you should get all of these rewards if you go 12-0, and 0, in my opinion. You should get every single one of these rewards. I don't understand why, if you go 12-0, and 0, you only get, like this you only get this if you go 12 and 0 you don't get the tim duncan the tokens or whatever you don't get this so like what's the point so you're saying if i go 11 and 1 i only get 20 tokens a tim duncan pack that's trash and 7 kmt how is that gonna help me in any way i, I don't know that's just one thing i'm gonna talk about whack swack single player triple threat the vault is broken i i mean yo i only have 103 wins but every time i play i don't get anything let's be real i don't think any of you guys ever open the vault the vault, whatever. Honestly, the, the vault never opens. If it opens, you get one token or 2,500 MT. I've never seen anyone who gets on out of the vault. It's like impossible. Um, so that's number two. Number three. Um, the spotlight challenges, man. These two were hard. And then they got easier as we went on. I still don't understand why they made these two hard and these three easy. I don't know why. Another thing, man evolving cards um some cards are easy some cards are hard they made lynn very easy they made jace kid they made kareem andre and Dr dwight almost impossible to evo so yeah don't understand that either but yeah right now i'm going to talk about the stalling of the all-star content so what are they trying to do they are actually making the market rise like crazy getting ready for all-star moments what is going to happen bro the market is going to drop insane. Now, I don't know what to do personally because I haven't seen this before. They honestly stalled. They put out Prime Pass because they knew the market wouldn't crash as much. Now, on All-Star Week, bro, they usually drop insane moments cards like Dunk Contest cards. If you guys didn't know, they drop um, Dunk Contest cards and whatnot. They drop three-point cards, like whoever won the three-point contest gets cards, whoever did sick in the All-Star game gets a moment card, so whatever. So now, they drop these Prime Packs, market's not going to crash really off of them, there's not going to be a lot of action in the market. Now, they then they re-release these, just trying to get more money out of you guys, whatever. If you guys really want to spend VC, you should wait till next week, because think about it, man. The market's really high, everything is super, super high. All they're doing is pretty much, they're just trying 
to stall out until All-Star break. They're just releasing dopey content that really doesn't help anybody. Yeah, they dropped away the Butler and Shaq. They're usable. I'm not going to say they're not. But besides that, um, that's really all they have dropped. And also, man, the All-Star content, they're going to probably drop some crazy, crazy pink diamonds, some crazy diamonds. And yeah, man, honestly, I don't know what you guys should do with your team. It's up to you, but uh, it's crazy. I don't know. I want to sell my pink diamonds. I think they're going to drop, but then I don't know. This is my team. It's pretty expensive. Way over a million MT. It's 500k between just Shaq and T-Mac. And then we got Bird. We got Zinger. That's a mil right there. Plus him. Plus him. We, our team's worth about 2 mil, um, which is kind of crazy because I'm scared that a market crash is going to happen. But you know what? Forget about the All-Star break for now. So all you guys have to know about the All-Star break, they're stalling. They're going to create a huge market crash once some all-star content drops. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be sometime next week. They are definitely stalling, um, making that market crash all at once when those all-star moments drop. So that's number one. Now, this game, I mean, it's been so dry over the last week posting content. I've been posting a ton of videos, but man, I love these rant videos because it really gives me an idea of what the community thinks and wants. But uh, yeah, all not triple threat boards are straight doo doo. They got like spotlight legacy packs in there as well. Those are terrible. Token market update is crying. I mean, token market is crying for an update. With the they released one of the most the most trashiest token market updates I've ever seen. They threw out honestly the only good one they released was Reggie Lewis. Tony Parker is kind of cool, but uh yeah. I don't know, man. Tony Parker is going to get beat by Jeremy Lin, Pink Diamond, Pink Diamond Magic, Pink Diamond Marbury. I mean, you know, he's small. He's not really going to be that good. He's not going to be that OP. What is he, six foot? Six two. So, token market update. The token market is disgusting. Um, they have these spotlight packs. No one cares about. No one's going to waste their tokens on. Nothing special in these. Terrible. If you spend your tokens on here, you're actually insane if you actually waste your tokens on here. So, token market crying for an update. The whole thing crying for an update. Um, the market is crying for an update. There hasn't been a market crash in over two weeks. So I'm just sitting here with Mad MT waiting for something to happen. And my dreams have been destroyed because they have dropped this. And this is not a market crash. This is just them making money. So yeah, I really would just say stop buying VC. But you know, my words don't help. I'm not big enough to say that it would help. So my opinion, stay away from VC. If you really want to spam packs, wait till the All-Star Week next week. So now... That's done. So, went over my team unlimited. Went over triple threat online. The single player triple threat's broken. The challenges are broken. The gameplay. I don't even want to talk about the gameplay. You know how that goes. The inconsistency with shots. The inconsistency with everything is crazy. Um, I've seen shots go in that should never go in. I I I literally just lost the game. Uh, he had a, uh, pretty much a solid team, and he put in Ami Kobe, and he greened every shot with Amethyst Kobe. I don't even know how that's possible. He beat me off a buzzer breeder with Amethyst Kobe, and he destroyed me with him. It's an Amethyst versus my Pink Diamond Hall of Fame clamps players, and he got diced by Hall of Fame Kobe. So that's an L. Don't know how that happened. So obviously gameplay is weird. Now, I want to talk about another thing. I already talked about the Evos, but I'm going to go more to depth. So... I have Kareem out of Amethyst. He is almost impossible to get to Amethyst 2. I have to get him to an Amethyst 2 with this much. It's Amethyst 2. A 93 Kareem for this. Then we got the Diamond Phase. Then we got the Pink Diamond Phase, which is... It's like, dude, is it worth grinding Kareem when there's a Hakeem out there? There's a Shaq. There's a Zinger. There's a Yao. There's a Bosch. I don't, I don't think so. So I would stay away from these. This car will be outdated. He probably, pretty much is outdated already. So, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with 2K. I don't know what they're trying to release. I don't know what they have up their sleeve. But all I know is that the moments, man, they botched moments of the week. They've changed it to just moments, and the moments stink. Like, they dropped a Zinger, which we have one already as a pink diamond, and they dropped Kyrie. I guess, thank you. The content has been garbage. I need new content. You guys need new content. And honestly, man, I don't even know what to say anymore. 2K is dying of updates. I just need a sick update. To I need a token market update, sick packs to drop all in one, and fix a gameplay ASAP. They need to fix every single game mode in the game. And it's so sad to say, not only that, they dropped a locker code with the wrong pack as the picture, saying it was a prime D-Wade pack, and it was a, pro it was a spotlight D-Wade pack. So thank you for that as well, man. That's really all I got, guys. 
hope you did enjoy the video let me know what else they should fix because there is a lot but uh yeah let me know hope you guys did enjoy have a good one peace